What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? What is good, everybody? I don't know. I personally don't know. We're about to find out together. And when I say everybody, I'm going to need everybody, all hands on deck for today's video because we are live streaming and together we're going to choose what products I put in my hair. We're going to build my routine together today. Just before I get started, because we are live streaming, I want to make sure that we do not have any technical difficulties. So if you hear me clap once, if you hear me clap twice, I always love that little, uh, you know, if I heard you, I was clapping along with full force. All right. So let me know if you can hear me in the comment section. Just so you know, in case you're wondering, why can't I comment? Only subscribers can comment. So if you are subscribed to this channel, one, I thank you and I love you so much. And then if you do, then you will be able to comment in the live chat. And I'm going to need your opinions. We have got lots of different products on either side of me today. Well, not lots because... This is going to be a relatively simple routine, but together we're going to build it so that hopefully my uh, wash day comes out pretty good because I'll probably keep it for the weekend if all goes well. I just realized you could probably see the nightmare that's all around me. Uh, we are post-wedding cleaning. And so because Amanda is currently on her honeymoon, yes, if you did not hear, my sister officially tied the knot. The marriage happened, the wedding went absolutely flawlessly, and we're going to talk more about it in a future video. Uh, I will definitely share some of the hair trials and the buildup and more sneak peeks about the day, but if you haven't seen it already, there is a little bit on uh, Instagram and TikTok. We did put a little couple sneak peek videos so you can see what the day looked like, but uh, because Amanda's on her honeymoon, I tried personally editing, editing a video for this week, and that was not, um, that wasn't for me. I really tried, I'm not gonna lie, but um, hopefully I get it up for you guys soon because it is my haircut. And I know everybody wants to see that, but today that's okay. We're gonna have a lot of fun just doing this live stream. So are we ready? Thank you guys so much for your congratulations. How am I feeling? I am a little stuffed, but I do have tissues with me. So no issues, all right? I also have, Amanda makes lemon ginger shots, uh, and then we put them in ice cubes, and I have put them in water for me today. So I will stay hydrated. It's with coconut water, so, you know, some good potassium. And I think we are ready, because I don't want my hair to dry. I will keep one of our microfiber towels around me, and obviously today's theme, oh, that whipped me right in the eyeball. That's okay. Keep it pushing, keep it moving, keep it grooving. Obviously, um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, no, no. Today's theme is pink. It's giving pink. So let me think. What are we going to do with today's routine? I'm excited that we get to style in real time so you can see how long these things take me, including the drying. I do plan on diffusing on live. Hopefully, it's not too disruptive. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's try to get there. ASAP and start by thinking, how do we start a wash day? Like what would Mel do? What should we probably do when we're planning out a wash day? We should probably look at the weather. Okay. That's usually the first thing that I like to do when I'm picking a wash day. And if I got to pick this or that with the weather, I would pick wherever it is warmer, but um, it's cold. So I am keeping that in mind. I want you to keep that in mind when we are picking the products. Okay. I'm going to be asking for your opinion. I'm going to ask you this or that. And I want you to comment in the live stream chat, this or that, so that we can choose which product. So without further ado, we've checked the weather. Yes, it's cold here. Shout out to my Canadians. Um, winter is coming or not just, not just Canadians, but anyone that is in the Northern, Northern hemisphere. I have fear. Yeah. That's it. That's all I'm going to, that's all I'm going to say on that. But okay. So we've checked the weather. Now we want to decide, decide what style I want. So as you know, with my Bob, this is all the hair. This is all the hair that is there. Um, okay. This is not just pinned up. I saw some people saw the wedding content. They're like, did you pin your hair like that? No, where have you been 
This is chopped. Uh, so what style do we want to do today? I could do two different looks. We could either do a volume routine or we could go for my more tamed defined routine. So let's start there. What do you guys want to choose? Where should we take the direction for my hair today? Let's choose for volume. Oh my God. Volume's already coming in. So volume is this or tamed is that. What I will say is with a tame style, the curls last longer because when you have a lot more volume in the hair and the curls are a lot more separated, they tend to not hold on to moisture as long. They can kind of lose their moisture and their shape. They can get frizzy a lot faster. So volume routines don't last as long. So everyone that's saying volume, you're setting me up for failure. You're setting me up for another wash day far too soon. I'm totally kidding. That's totally fine. Volume, I can already see, is the winner. So we're going to go in with our volume routine. And that means that we're going to work on the sectioning. So when I do my volume sectioning, did I lose my comb? I always forget something. It's okay. I have fingers with nails. Okay. You know me if you watch this channel. I never, I'm a natural nail girly, but I did a little shellac manicure for Amanda's wedding. Do I need to do this all the time? Like, do is it is it not giving leveled up? Because you know I'm, I've been working on that. It it looks fabulous. No, I digress. Uh, I digress. Uh, I'm gonna work on sectioning with my fingers and my nails, and I do have my detangling brush. So anytime I'm sectioning, you know where I'm going to section, I do want to brush the hair. It's easier for me, like if I'm going to part down the middle, then I want to brush the hair back so I could draw the line along that line. Does that make sense? Just so we're clear, just so we're clear on how I am getting here. So we're going to go, I know everyone's loving the volume routine. So we're going to do that. And then as for what products I am going to prep my hair with, what do you think? I've got two quite different products, uh, but both could work. So I have got for this, this is the Eva NYC Made Magic 10 in 1 Primer, a very light product. So this is going to be, you know, pretty weightless. It's just going to give me a little bit of a sheen, 10 in 1 benefits. You see me use this a million times. A lot of the products that I'm using are almost empty because I'm trying to empty them. I love finishing my products. So this for this or that. You might not have seen me use this yet on the channel. Have I used it here? I definitely use it on Instagram and TikTok. This is the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex Hair Strengthener. Actually, I featured this in my blowout video when I did my round brush blowout using the new air wrap attachments. So this is something that I would use to add fortification into my hair. It's definitely pricier as opposed to affordable. So this, Eva NYC, or that. If we're not, if we're considering what my hair needs, you know, both of them are gonna give me protection throughout the rest of my routine. So I love that. Um, but it looks like a lot of people are voting for Eva NYC. And I see why, I see why, you'll see why. Super lightweight, if you haven't seen me use this product before, I'm going to spray it all over and then I'll do my sectioning. So this is her. I love that it's a little spray pump and this is what it looks like. Basically water. It's very, very lightweight. So I am going to spritz her. And I don't have any music playing in the background because YouTube doesn't like that. So um, bear with the ASMR sounds. We love that, right? Right? I love these. Again, these are my natural nails. Just shellac. Kind of a flex. Kind of a flex. I think I need to do this all the time. I just don't know if I can spend all the time in the nail salon. Maybe I'll learn how to do it myself. I've done it before, but my biggest fear is uh, then ruining my natural nails. We definitely don't want that. So any housers, back to the hair. That's why we're here. Who's here? I see a lot of familiar names in the chat. 
Thank you guys so much for being here. This is a lot of fun so far. I'm I'm getting good vibes. I'm feeling fine, even though I'm stuffed. I may be stuffed up, but my heart is full. The heart is full. Home is where the heart is. All right. I don't even know what song that was. That was just, you know, a fun little lyric. Okay. I want to share with you as I'm sectioning my hair. So what, one thing at a time, Mel, my ADHD, ADHD brain is like moving at a million miles a second here and my mouth can't catch up. Okay. To section for the volume routine. There's a few different ways to do it, but what my concerns, if I turn, are a bit of a flat head in the back here, you know? I'm a little, my crown section, it doesn't give volume. I don't have that beautiful bouffant, that behave volume that I wish I naturally had. You know, the, the hairstyle that they were rocking in the 60s. Speaking of 60s and just vintage looks, my look for the wedding was very vintage inspired. I was definitely playing with like finger wave looks and I love, I love pinup looks, but any housers. So I want to, if I want to achieve volume in the crown, I want to make sure that all the hair from the very top of my head, I'm going to use my tangle teaser brush as a level. So if I place this at the very top of my head, where the brush leaves my head in the front, do you see, do, can you see me? How, how do I look from this angle? How's the contour? I did the makeup in about five minutes. Okay, so wherever the brush leaves my scalp in the front is the bangs, okay? That's considered the front half of your head. And wherever it falls in the back, all that hair can naturally fall back. But if I try to take too much hair and bring it all the way back here, I just have to work with it and really set it in place so that it stays. But I wanna make sure that all this hair from here on is going to be styled back to give me the most amount of volume in the back, okay? So now I'm going to just create that little sectioning. So I brush and I'm gonna bump. Brush, burp, excuse me, and bump, okay? And I'm gonna shake and that's mostly, I mean, that's gonna help me find my part where I want to part it. I am, I do love, you know me, I do love a good side part but it's okay, we're not gonna do, we're gonna do some bangs. We're gonna do some bangs today. So we just bump forward and that's gonna help me find, you know, a split to split down the middle. And then I'm gonna take the front half of my head, separate this. I always end up with a mushroom head. <laughs> I love mushrooms, so <laughs> I love that for you. Um, unless you don't love that for you. If you always end up with a mushroom head, that definitely can come into uh, how you're styling or maybe how the hair was cut, right? But I don't know. I'm, I, don't, I don't hate mushrooms. Just a little comment I saw. Let's see. So now that I have separated the front from the back, we're going to do this one step at a time, okay? And in order to move on, Oh, see, I don't like this mix match. I don't like this mix match. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put in the matching clip here. You know, I love a matching moment. By the way, the tools that I am using today, tools, products, the things I usually use, you know where to find them. They're all linked right below this video if you wanna check them out. So now I'm gonna turn so you can check me out and I am going to separate this section now from the top of my ears to the back like so okay alrighty now we need to get styling we've done the prep product to move on to style I've got two different foaming type products we have this. This is the Verb Curl Foaming Gel, which as you may know, I helped co-create. Verb came to me and was like, we need your help. And I said, I got you, but this is what we need to do. 
And this is where we came. This is, this is what we got to, as you can see, almost done this bottle as well. So we have this or, oh, let me just turn my sound off there for a minute. This or that. This is, sorry, that is the AG Mousse Gel. Now, both of these products are quite similar, except one is a foam, non-aerosol. The other one is aerosol. Both of these are like protein ingredient free, but they do have amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. They help to fortify the hair, add smoothness, you know, fill in the cracks of the cuticle and strengthen the hair without being as heavy as a protein. Both of these are fabulous options, but what are we going to do? This verb or that AG. This or that. This or that. Oh, th this or that. This or that. I don't know. It's very confusing. You guys aren't sure either. It's looking. It's, it, it's. I'm going to give you a moment. I'm going to give you a minute to really think about this, okay? This. It's giving a lot of verbs. It's giving a lot of verbs. I'm I'm seeing a lot of verb. I'm seeing a lot of verb. What are we going to do? Don't leave this up to me. How What I will say about these two different products is I do use them differently. The Verb Curl Foaming Gel, I can actually brush through my hair. So that's really great, especially if I do want to smooth and add a little bit more definition to the hair. When I'm using the AG Mousse Gel, I tend to define the curls first. So I may apply a cream in my hair beforehand or not, but I will define the curls first with a brush or however I'm doing it and scrunch it in. I don't exactly, I don't really brush this through my hair. I'm just gonna give you a little, little sneak peek. Some of you are saying you've never seen it. And if I look back, half and half, half and half. This wasn't part of the game. This game is not called half and half, it's called this or that. But I am a people pleaser and I, I do wanna please all of the people. Should we just do? Oh, oh wait, we have Bruther. My Bruther Anthony, he is moderating. Everyone say hi to him. He is saying that he sees verb by a tiny margin. Half and half, this and that. Okay, we don't want the routine to be, Elof, you said we don't want the routine to be too light, especially since Mel needs something that would be moisturizing. Absolutely. But I, I do love a half and half moment. We're we're gonna we're gonna go buck wild here. This was not supposed to be a side by side comparison, but here we are today. So you asked for it. I'm gonna give it to you. We're gonna start with this. Like I said, I like to brush the verb curl foaming gel into the hair. So I can't really split this down the middle much, but I'm gonna take. Two little pumps, you can see the texture. I'm gonna take two little pumps for this section here, which is a small section. You know, this is gonna be generous, but this is the only styler I've applied to the hair, right? We have started super light, and this feels super serum-y in the hair. And this, I actually don't really like to use a lot of creams underneath because then I can't achieve too much hold. So this is perfect. We started super light, and now we're going in with this. And to define these curls, let me give myself a wipe. I hate feeling product on my hands. I am now going to take my Denman brush to define. So what I do is I'm gonna style these horizontally. I'm gonna turn, okay? Let me know if you can see me. I'm gonna split this in half and I like to curl from underneath because this is really gonna help perk up the back. Although if I wanted to achieve a little extra length in the back, see all that volume? 
if I didn't want the hair to be too much for me, too big, and I wanted it a little bit more tamed, I would, sorry, is that an earthquake? It's just me. I could brush downwards. And remember, when we're using the Denman brush to achieve that ribbon curl effect, the smoothing and defining, you need to actually wrap the hair around the curl. So that's what, wrap the hair around the curl. Wrap the hair around the brush to curl. So that's why I'm using this brush. You can see the slight difference. Now there's less volume in the root. You could really go either way. Sometimes for the very bottom section here, if I want a little bit more length, I can go down. And then this top, you know, the section that's gonna lay right on top, I can go like this. Now, when my hair was longer, you notice that I was sandwiching the hair between the brush a lot more, but because of the hair, because of the length my hair is at and because of the shape of this brush, I'm able to just do that. Look at that. You can already see, look, look like you can already see the volume there. Do we love it? Do we love it? Let's move to that. So this is the AG Mousse Gel. I've been using this product for many, many years. It's a fabulous product. But if you take a look at it, um, hold on. Let me let me quickly let me quickly brush this hair to define it because I don't like to brush this through my hair. It doesn't have as much glide. It has more of that like freeze dry, like that hold feeling. So if you like a stronger hold, this this it has extra firm hold. So it's not comfortable to brush through the hair, especially if your hair is long and damaged, but it's great to scrunch in afterwards. So that's okay. You know, I usually do like to have something in my hair beforehand, but we're just gonna raw dog it here. I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna do the same thing to define these curls. Brush under. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look how nasally I sound. Are you okay listening to me all day? How dare I? How dare I get sick before a live stream? I really tried my best. And there we go. So now, if I want to add a little extra definition, I could, you know, smooth it in. I can make sure there's enough water in the hair. And I am going to take just a small little golf ball size mount. Look how cute. This is great. You actually don't have to bend this over. You can just hold it upright to dispense. So that is the product. I'm just going to apply it on this half of the hair and scrunch her in. Maybe do a little, a little extra defining. Real time, people. It usually, listen, my routine is usually quite fast. But because you got me chit-chatting, this is taking a little bit longer. But I'm excited for you to see even the diffusing process because she is quite speedy. Okay, perfect. Let's move on up, shall we? I'm gonna be doing the same thing up the back of my head. And I do have more products that we're gonna apply, but that's more of a later thing. So for now, I mean, this is it. This is our, this is our very simple routine, okay? So I'm gonna take out the back. How much would you suggest for longer hair? Fabulous question. I like to determine how much hair you have. So you want to think about your density, right? Just because you have longer hair doesn't necessarily mean you need a lot more product. You just want to be able to feel it in the hair. You know, you want to make sure that you can feel that the hair is nice and saturated. So that might feel like um, if you're using a cream or like a serum, a, the curl foaming gel is very serum-y. You might feel that like that slip over the hair, right? So you wanna make sure you can feel that, um, but you wanna feel the density. So if you have a lot of hair, like if you if you have a small ponytail, like you have, you don't need a lot of product. You have fine hair, you don't have a lot. But if you have like a lot on the other, on the contraire, on the contra hair, then you want to use a lot more. So I'm gonna spray this section here and you're kind of messing up my flow. I'm not, not blaming you. I'm just explaining to you. I usually take the back section as one big entity. So let me kind of show you what I mean. Please don't fall. I have a mirror station behind you. I kind of take, I usually take the whole back section as one, but now I'm taking it in halves so that we can do 
this and that. The, the rules have changed. The rules have just changed. What can I say? So I'm just going to continue styling. This is the curl, uh, sorry, the mousse gel side. And I'm going to continue taking these horizontal sections. Oh, I went to my old ways and I started using the Tangle Teaser brush. I don't like using this with my hair as short because the shape of the paddle is a bit too long. Like I can get more of that ribbon curl with the Denon brush. Not saying you can't use this, but especially in the like really short sections underneath, this doesn't do it as well for me. So just FYI as to why I am currently using my Denman brush. All right. So moving on up, I take about three layers here. I try to be as clean as possible with my sections. And everything is being styled back. Up. Uh, up and back. Beautiful. Beautiful. See how she's doing? We're going to take some of the product. Just a very small, very small amount. And scrunch that bad boy in. Looking promising so far. Looking promising so far. Lovely suggestion, Sasha. What is the suggestion? What am I missing? Sorry, I have my back turned to you. It's so rude. But um, I do want to thank you for all of your lovely suggestions here so far. This or that. I'm going to go in with the curl foaming gel on the other side here. I think I got excited. I took about four pumps, but that is extremely generous. For this section here. It's okay. We're rolling. We're rolling with it. Anytime I accidentally, not on purpose, anytime I accidentally add a little too much product, I'm a little overzealous with it. Um, I like to take my microfiber towel that is damp, sitting on my shoulders, catching all the excess moisture. And I just like to scrunch it out that way scrunch out the excess product with the, again, damp towel. The damp towel be, will be able to absorb product better than a wet towel. It's science. Sorry, than a dry towel. Damp will do better than a dry towel. So I'm just gonna finish up these last sections in here, and then we're gonna move on to the front. Brush, and then I'll scrunch. Scrunch and slay. Scrunch and slay. The back, I'm going to keep it separated by moving these clips over here. It's just going to help me stay a little more organized and prevent a menti bee, okay? If you don't know what a menti bee is, then I'm really happy for you, but I have at least two daily, so love that for me. Um, if you know what a minty bee is, please inform our friends who are, um, you know, well in the comment section. <laughs> so I'm going to take, now that we're at the front here, I do like to take the top and the side separately. So let's create a little bang section, shall we? I'm going to take this little, this whole panel right here. <sighs> oh, jump scare. It's always scary. It's always scary, but it's not. I'm gonna take this panel here. I always joke around, but it's really not a joke. Maybe I shouldn't do that because it's, I don't want that to feel like a harmful, I, I don't, it's not. The recession area is completely normal. I've actually had scalp testing done. Uh, I had a scalp analysis done and you know, they were asking if I had any scalp concerns um, and I just said, you know, I have a pretty normal scalp. I keep it clean. I keep it healthy. 
But I do have my recession area that it's never changed. If your areas have never thinned beyond what they've pretty much always been, then there is nothing to worry about. It's just you know, genetics. It's just where, you know, your hair naturally grows and, and separates and all that stuff. So if you, uh, you're not supposed to mix products. True. I don't like to mix. I don't like to cocktail. We layer. I love, I love that. I love that you're mentioning that for me. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm missing things in the, in the comment section as I'm on my, my tangents. But, um, as I was saying, if you've never noticed any advancements, then there's nothing to worry about. And sometimes I joke around about, oh, my, my bald spots. But I just want you to know that if you are insecure about these areas up in here, you have absolutely nothing to be concerned about unless, I mean, if you actually genuinely are concerned, see a professional. But let me tell you, it's completely normal. And I definitely want to I need to work on um, my, my framing around that. I know obviously hair loss is a very sensitive topic. And has anyone noticed any excessive or additional hair loss in the fall? I mean, the fall is typically a season where we do tend to shed a lot more. And as we are entering the winter, the colder months, unless you are in the Southern hemisphere, I hate you. Um, but as we are entering these colder months with the daylight changing, um, I want to make sure that you are taking vitamin D and, you know, getting your nutrients as necessary because that will also help prevent excessive hair fall these months. So I'm going to go in now, rant over. I wanted to make sure that I, I moved through these sections without babbling too much, but you guys know me. You know how much I love to chat and how much I love to share this hair information with you. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take sections like this so that we can get, again, a little bit more of that volume. So I'm going to go from underneath. And I'm going to press because this section is a little bit longer. And look at that. Look how cute. I'm going to keep moving on up with those same sections. Beautiful, beautiful. Do the same on the other side without any product. If there's product on my brush and it's getting on the hair, just ignore it. This wasn't supposed to be a side-by-side -side comparison. This was just supposed to be this or that. But of course, we've already addressed that we are doing this and that for the people. For the people. So for the AG people, I have now defined this side. And now we're going to be moving on to the bangs in a second, which is a very important part for this volume routine. Scrunch. Beautiful. We're all talking about weather now in the comment section. Yeah, if you're... Weather does not get very cold, then um, I do envy you. I have that bone chilling, like I'm, I am basically sore all winter because my back is so tense. I'm like, I'm clenched all winter because I'm so cold. That's, that's just me though, you know. For the bags, God, here's the thing. If you don't want a part in your hair, then don't part the hair. I don't want to do this whole side-by-side -side fiasco in the bang section here because that might give me a parting. And what I want to do, if I want volume and I want that beautiful full bang, I'm going to style this whole section in one. So I'm not going to do it in two, okay? So we're going to just choose one product for the top. This or that. This You got 30 seconds. This or that. Verb? Or AG. This or that for the top. We gotta pick one. How am I feeling? Thanks for checking in. I'm good, guys. I'm I'm feeling better now that we're here styling. You guys want I'm seeing 
pretty even. I'm seeing it pretty even, but you know what I'm going to do? I am going to make an executive decision based on that, based on my hair. So let me explain. In these regions up in here, the hair is very frizzy. Um, it's a lot more dry. The curl pattern is actually tighter. So I will get better definition if I brush the product through my hair. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the verb. I've made the executive decision. Thank you for your opinions. Thank you. But better luck with the next one if I do not choose what you wanted me to do. We still have more that we're going to do. So let's just finish this off. And I'm just going to continue taking, I'm going to do some vertical panels like so. These, sorry, diagonal. And I'm going to brush in and up. And I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to just alternate side to side. This is my herringbone technique. And that is going to really prevent any specific parting in the bangs. So started, I started the bangs by actually brushing it in every which way, every direction. And now I am styling them like so. And what's great about this is if I do end up wanting to flip my bangs to a side part, I get this gorgeous diagonal side part. And that keeps fullness on each side of my head while still getting the side part so I don't look lopsided. I love it. And if you are familiar with that tip because you've been watching me, then you already, you already know. You already know. All right. As I approach... The very front here, I'm going to take sections like this. I'm going to do it horizontal. Just because these bangs are actually quite long, they're not really meant to be full-on frontal bangs. So I want to style them up off my head to get a little extra lift and volume. And I will actually take a little clip and just put it across my forehead there. And that way it's going to dry with a little extra lift. Okay, these are the volume tips. My biggest volume tip, if we are going for a volume routine, would be diffusing. You already know. You already know, we're going to be drawing with the diffuser and we actually, we get to choose which tools I want to use today. So we have this, a classic, the Dyson Supersonic, or that, the Air Wrap, because I can actually use either of these tools now because they both have curly hair styling attachments. So what do we want me to style with? You guys have seen me use this a million times, but I haven't actually officially used the Dyson Airwrap to diffuse on this channel yet. What do you think? This or that? This or that? If you've never seen the Dyson Airwrap, yes, this is a blow dryer. It's, a, it's an air styler. And everyone wants to see that. Everyone wants to, I want to see that. I have been obsessed with this. And if you haven't yet seen it, this is the diffuser attachments. Actually, these just launched last month, so that's where you saw me use the large round brush to achieve my blowout look. But the diffuser attachment is also going to be sold separately. If you already have an air wrap and you're like, oh no, I can't buy a whole new air wrap just to get the diffuser attachment, you can buy the diffuser attachments separately on the site. And I know that they're in stock in Canada at least today. Beyond today, I can't make any promises because this is a hot commodity, but I got my hands on it and I'm going to start diffusing. And um, thankfully, with my silencer on, kidding, it's not a silencer on, but uh, thankfully, hopefully, this won't be too loud. So let's take a good look before I turn this on. I'm going to give my hair a little shake. And I do like to, if I really want to encourage the speed of my drying, which of course I want to do, you know, not that I want to, you know, cut you loose, but we don't want to be here all day. I don't want to be listening to the blow dryer all day. I'm going to take my damp towel 
And I am going to do a little bit of scrunching here. Oh, I forgot I have these clips in the back. Beautiful. And then while I'm diffusing, you know, we can just sit here and twiddle our thumbs. But I could also just talk about uh, anything, you know, ask me some questions. I, I definitely want to talk about some of the ways my life has changed since cutting my bob. A lot of you have, have noticed. But not just like, oh, the ways my life has changed. The ways my routine has changed. Because there's a lot of things that I'm not quite doing anymore. So... We'll talk about that and talk about why why I just why I love this bob. I still, you know, there's still some comments that come in asking, why would you cut your hair? Like some people take it as a personal offense that I have cut my hair. Can you believe it? I'm so sorry. It's not about you. Uh people have said, you know, I don't know why you've done this. This was your your whole you built this whole platform off of your curly hair, and now you've just you've cut it all off. It's like well, there, I'm not bald. And even if I was, I am more than hair and I have a lot more to share. And, you know, less hair on my own head means I can share more hair on other people's heads. Yes, something I'd love to do and love to share in the future. But now that I have gone in, I will ask you a quick question because we could apply one more product right now, depending if you choose this or that. Okay, so... If we're doing a volume routine, something that you might struggle with if you have fine hair or if you, you know, need a little extra texture, like if you have a very soft texture, if you use a lot of cream, you just need some extra volume, you could use a texture spray to get more volume in your routine. So I could apply a texture spray right now or later, uh, but I love texture spray. So let's see what you would want me to use. I have this. Another product from AG, it is the Curl Trigger Defining Spray. This, okay. And I'll talk about why I use this in a second while I introduce that. This, that, <laughs> is this confusing? I hope that isn't. That is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. So this or that. I do use these differently. So I'm not going to be using them at the same time. This, this, that, that, this, that, this, that. This, the AG uh, Defining Spray, does have salt in it. And salt in products, if you've ever used like a sea salt spray, it can give you that gritty texture. It can also help enhance the curl. So it's both going to give texture. It might also enhance the curl. A little curl enhancement is always going to help with a little extra volume. And this is actually, it can be used to refresh your curls. So it can be used next day. Or I like to use it, um, it can also be used on wet hair. So before I start diffusing, I can use this. Or we can just finish the hair afterwards with a little extra texture using that. The Living Proof. Oh my God, this is almost empty. This is basically... I might have to grab a different one, but um, this or that, this or that, what's it giving? This, that, this, that. Hey, wait a tick. Since we're not actually using them at the exact same time, I could apply this wet and this dry. <laughs> we are doing a this and that after all, apparently. So let's just do it, shall we? Do I, do I apply it all over? Do I apply it all over? Yeah, people are saying both. Why not, right? Especially since the curl in the back of my head is a little bit looser, I'm going to spray a little bit of this focusing back there. So I'm going to kind of lift the root. And from afar, I'm just going to give a little spritz of root. I'm going to be careful with it because this definitely gives a little extra hold. But it can also dry out the hair if you use too much. All right. I think that's good. I've avoided the bangs because those are already, it's a drier section of my hair. They're already curlier. I'm just focused on the back, okay? We love spot treating. We treat the hairs on our head as they need to be, right? They're, if they're not consistent all over, then we might have to change the routine depending on where we're styling. So now that we have applied all these products, 
I'm going to start drying. All right, let's let's do a little sound check. Let me know how this sounds. And can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? All right. I love the shape of this. I'll just say, okay, perfect. You guys can still hear me. I love it. What should we do in the meantime? You guys can ask me a couple questions now that I can read the chat, now that I'm just uh, vibing here. I have some uh, some pointers that I could talk about. You know, a little, I have made some notes, things that we could chat about. But, you know, this is some time that I can just chat with you. So, hello. How long have we been on here? Almost, uh, almost an hour. My routine, I can get it done in 25 minutes. Less than that. Definitely less than 25 minutes. I've done it in like 18 when my hair was longer. But I am more strategic about where I'm sectioning the hair now that it is shorter. So I'm spending a little extra time when I'm styling it. But that's just because I'm a perfectionist. And when the hair is short, when your hair is short above your shoulders, you actually, like, I feel like you can see everything so much better, right? Hair above the shoulders, like, it's framing your face really closely. And so you just want it to look perfect, you know? I, at least I do. I just want my hair to look as best and as amazing as possible when it is short. So I spend a little extra time when styling. You can already see how amazing this definition is. And so I'm gonna just hover at first. And you might notice, actually, this is a perfect time to show you the little side-by-side -side difference. So this is the, um, the air wrap diffuser. And I'm gonna show you compared to the Dyson supersonic diffuser. So this is a side-by-side. You can see that the prongs, the prongs are longer on the air wrap. So I can get a little bit more of a massage. Like I can actually use this to lift a little bit. So I definitely do. It's definitely a good idea to do if your hair is, um, if you tend to get flat at the roots. And if you need a little extra air circulation in there, right? You feel me? You see me? So I want to focus on drying the roots first. I don't want to leave my scalp damp, wet, soggy, nasty for a long time. So as I diffuse that, you'll also see that this is the classic supersonic and there's more prongs. There's more prongs in the air wrap. So there's more areas for your curl to sit, you know? So just a couple little differences. Otherwise, like they both diffuse the air the same. You can't really tell on camera here, but there's lots of different layers in the Dyson diffuser attachments that help to diffuse the air so it's soft and it doesn't blow away and rough up your curls. So that's part of the reason why I love these. But I'm just going to go around. Look, because it's like a, a long handle, getting the back of my head, I feel like it's super easy. Feels super comfy. And yeah, I'm just going to circulate around. Take a quick sip. And now fill me in. What's what's good over here? Finger coil or not? Well, JC7 Blessed. I have not. Not with this hairdo. Um, I could. If you finger coil, you can expect a little less volume. If you finger coil, you know, there's a couple ways of doing it. Some people like taking big chunks finger coiling a big section of hair and then separating it afterwards that will help to give you volume but that also kind of gives a lot more frizz it's not my preferred way if i'm going to do a finger coil i'm going to do it all out i'm doing it individually but because there's so much definition in the hair um it's going to require a lot more fluffing afterwards but finger coiling is obviously a fabulous technique if you have a little extra time in order to really define to really define the curls my curls you can see they they are curling spiraling naturally uh because my hair is <laughs> my hair is very healthy remember how i was complaining how my hair was too healthy when my hair was back to its completely natural yes it is colored right now when i was rocking my natural color for that like year almost 
my hair was almost too healthy. It was too silky. I lost so much volume in my hair. Like it wouldn't, that's when I was really getting into the texture sprays because there was just not enough grit, like damaged hair. It just does it. It just gives a little extra volume, but damaged hair also doesn't, you know, the curl might not be thriving naturally as well. So with damaged hair that you might have to actually finger coil a little bit, but instead of doing the full head, I usually like to do wherever it's framing the money maker. So the bangs, right? Those front sections, I definitely could have finger coiled them, but um, you know, they're doing their thing. And then around your face. And if you do those, it ties the whole look together. Are people spamming? Let's play nice in the chat, please. Oh, and my shampoo and conditioner for this routine. Thank you for asking. I actually used the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I started using that again after a very long time. It's just chef's kiss. Personally, I love it. Such a little bit goes a long way. If you, if you think about other, um, like, damaged shampoos and conditioners, they're really... I know Olaplex is not cheap or like ne necessarily affordable by any means but it is so potent like the shampoo and conditioner i'm telling you i need such a small amount you know but you guys know i love the olaplex 4c but i've actually been using the regular olaplex 4 like the 4 and 5 and they're so good they're so nice they detangle my hair really well so i've been using that and i i shampooed and conditioned with that literally just before coming on here do you have any tips for thick, dry, wavy hair? Cherry, cherry verse, cherry verse. Sorry. Um, so your sister has really wavy, dry hair that always has so much frizz. So with wavy hair, especially if you're, you know, struggling to get definition, it's better to style your hair when it's actually soaking wet. So style her hair. Tell her to style her hair in the shower. So after she is freshly conditioned. She has brushed through her hair. It's like pretty sopping wet. It looks like seaweed, you know, beautiful. She goes she freshly brushed through all of the frizz so that the curls nicely plump. I would rinse it out, scrunch, and then apply the products on the soaking wet hair and not actually separating the curls too much. So you really want to set the curls in larger chunks. You know, how I took like panels and smaller sections to define my curls. On wavy hair, because the curls are bigger, you wanna take bigger sections. So take a big section, brush it through, to make sure like the hair almost looks straight, rinse out the product, and then scrunch, and scrunch in like high hold products. This is great for wavy hair, because it's also curl enhancing, uh, and it's got that extra firm hold. I would definitely use that on wavy hair. And you could also pair it with the, uh, Curl Trigger, that is the texture spray with salt, because that will also help enhance the wavy hair. So I hope that helps. Definitely make sure if she does have pretty dry hair, that she just is using a good conditioner, a good deep conditioner. And I see a comment uh, from Nova Lee asking, what is my favorite brand of hair mask? I have used so many. I have used an abundance throughout my time here. Um, so what I'm... And I, love a lot of them like i can give you recommendations in different uh you know price categories what i'm currently really loving and what i have almost finished in my shower is from jvn jonathan van ness he has it's the blue bottle it's the nurture oh my god i can't remember the exact name of it but it's really really nice um it is one of those silicone free deep conditioners because you know a lot of people are going that route, which to my demise, uh, unfortunately, that, that's where the industry has been going for many years. But thankfully, the industry is also evolving. And a lot of the new like silicone-free hair products are actually really good. Like the alternatives are getting much better. Whereas before I was like, F all this, I'm using what I know, sticking to what I know. And um, yeah, so... Um, the, uh, another news, yes, JVN. You guys know I also really love the deep conditioners from Eva NYC. Those are also really, really good. Um, yeah. Let's see. 
Um, oh, it just skipped. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of, there's so many things coming in at once. Have I tried the new Bounce Curl brush? I have not. I have not been able to get my hands on it. But let me know if you guys want a review of that. I really love the Denman brush. And I know that for a little while on this channel, I kind of stopped using it. And then I started using it again. Um, but that was mostly because when my hair was longer and a little bit more damaged, it was harder to brush through my hair. And in the wrong hands, this brush can create some damage. So it's definitely not for everyone. Um, definitely needs to be used carefully. It's not a detangling brush, so I don't use it for that. But because, see, see how it's almost rounded? See that little rounded shape? That's what helps create, it's like a round brush for curly hair. Like, I don't know, I don't know how else to describe it, but it is, it's quite fabulous. It, it really works. So I am very happy with my, uh, my Deadman brush. And it's because of the shape. It's really because of the shape of that. Are there such thing as voting buttons? Anthony, if you guys like this or that live, we can do another one. Yes. Yeah, so Anthony, my brother, he's currently not home. I have an only child right now. He's in Florida. Amanda is in South Africa for her honeymoon. Oh, my God. What a stunning place. Yesterday, she went to a beach with penguins, penguins, little penguinos everywhere. And I'm here. I'm here, but I'm here with you. So anyways, I was left stranded. I tried editing my haircut video for you all. And then I had a lot of technical difficulties. It wasn't going to work out. So I said, I'm not leaving you hanging. I'm going to go on live, even though, even though I'm sick. I love that you're bearing with me through my nasaliness. Um, and I will definitely have the haircut video up for you next week. Okay, so stay tuned. And thank you for your patience with that. Anthony, even though he was not here, no one was here to help me. I think we're doing okay. Is everyone having a good time? Are you guys having a fun time? Please let me know. And we are, uh, we're getting there. The hair still looks quite wet, but that's because of the cast. So she's getting, she's definitely crunchy. Definitely crunchy. So I'm now scrunching, as you can see. I really want to enhance the curl a little bit. Also, I am on high heat and high speed just for maximum efficiency. Um, you know, if you are using other tools and it feels really hot, like if you are burning your scalp, if you're burning your skin, just consider you're probably burning your hair too, okay? Just use that as a good marker. So definitely turn down the heat if, if possible, if you need to on your blow dryer. But for me, um, this is not extreme heat with the Dyson tools. So I'm never concerned. I, I'd rather keep it moving, keep it grooving, get through this ASAP. And so I use the high heat. And we're almost there. My top layers don't spiral like the underneath. Is that just damage or should I do something different to the top? Well, both. If the top is doing something different from the bottom, then you should style it differently. But it's probably, it's likely that it's curling differently on top because of damage. That is the most common area to receive damage on the hair because that is like the outer canopy of your hair, right? It faces all of the elements, the sun, the wind, you tie your hair back, frizz, like the top half, the top canopy, we call it, of your hair, these top layers, they definitely take the most heat, you know? They take the most damage. Even when you are using heat, think about where do you touch up your hair? Where are you refreshing your curls? Is it uh, in the back underneath where no one can see? No. You're restyling and reheat styling the top of your hair that is showing, you know, shown to the world. So those areas definitely take a little bit more damage. And so I would recommend using products that are going to help repair those areas, products with protein, you know, look into things like Olaplex K18. Again, I've really been liking the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. What's nice about this, if you're considering the K18, but maybe K18 is a little bit out of the budget, this is cheaper. 
And it also has heat protection in it. So it's also heat protectant while being uh, like a bond repairing product. And it works really, really well. I've really been liking this as well. So focusing that on your damaged areas will make a huge difference as well. Is it necessary to put the cast on curly hair? Let me tell you, Emma, thank you for your question. And sometimes, you know, we need to go, we need to, um, it's like short-term pain for long-term gain, okay? If you hate crunchy hair, I'm sorry. You just need it for right now, you know? It's going to help you diffuse. It's going to help you dry your hair, set it in place for that longevity so that your hair actually lasts you, right? But it doesn't have to stay that way. We can definitely work on, we will work on scrunching that out so we can reveal all of the gorgeous volume underneath uh, once the hair is fully dry. As for me, so I'm starting to shake out the hair now, right? I got to get the back here. I'm starting to shake out the hair. I kind of, what I do when I really want a lot of volume is usually, usually you want to let that cast form. So we do want the cast. It, it's, it is beneficial. I would say necessary, but at least beneficial. Um, you want to let that form. And then you can kind of get a little rougher with your hair, right? Then you can kind of play around with it more. Because it's going to hold its shape a lot better. It's It's got that shield of armor, right? So now you can actually go in and start roughing it up a little bit more. And I like to get into the root and start separating the root area. So the curl on the ends still have that crunch. They still have that hold. So that's holding those together. But at least in the roots, um, I can fluff those out. And it's going to help cover any, like, you know, maybe any scalp being exposed. Uh, but also just, yeah, give me more, more volume. So I'm starting to touch it more with my hands now. But if you're not, no, if you're new to this and you're not true to this, then don't touch your hair until it's fully dry. You're better off just leaving the hair to fully set before actually using your grubby little fingers. But for me, I will grab with all of my grub, okay? And when you're not sure if the hair is fully dry, I'm going to do one last second with my, my hot air. Hold on. It's the whole stretch. Fluff a little bit like so. Lovely. Oh, ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See that? Massage my scalp with the diffuser. And now I'm going to turn all of the heat off and I'm going to go on to the cool setting. And that's just going to help set the hair in place, just so it helps hold the curl a little bit better. This is usually, you know, you hear about that when you're doing any kind of like round brushing to the hair or if you're styling your hair like it with a, a hot iron, right? Like you want to let the hair cool in that shape and then release to get extra longevity. It's the same thing with your natural curls, especially if you notice that your curls fall easily. Set it with a cool shot and then you will be able to get a little extra longevity, especially if you need to like fluff and go right away. I'm going to use this now. So the hair is cool all the way through. And then we're going to go in and we're going to finish off with the separating of the curls. We're almost there. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Um, let me see if I have. Okay. You might be lucky. I have my, my travel kit. This is my travel toiletries bag. And I was just traveling. And I know that in here... I have a mini version of the Living Poop Full Volume uh, and Texture Spray. It's full dry volume and texture spray because I'm pretty sure this bottle is completely empty. I don't think I can get anything else out of this because we used a lot of this throughout Amanda's wedding day. Like to get everyone ready, this was a key product because it's like a hairspray, but it also helps to add that grit and that texture. And we love it. This feels good to me.
that now we can hear properly. Was that really aggressive? Please let me know because then maybe in the future I will plan to not diffuse on the live. But I did want to also show you how long it takes me to dry my hair. Wow, this is looking humbling. Um, this this shape. What is she? What is she giving right now? Why do I feel like I look like I'm wearing a helmet? Someone said a mushroom head. I'd rather be a mushroom than look like I'm wearing a helmet. It's okay. That's that's kind of what happens with the bangs. But let's see. I look so cute. Okay. Berries and cream. Don't do that to me. I had some berries today. Minus the cream. Me and dairy. Not, not very pretty. Mm. My little lemon water. I'm just giving this a second to cool. Guys, my ears. I, I am clogged everywhere. Except my bowels, thank God. Whew. Regular! <laughs> Anyhowsers, why why do I always go there? Oh, I was in my I was in my toiletry bag, but I've got my my mini dry volume texture spray. Perfect. And now we are ready to start fluffing. So I'm actually not going to, I don't have a serum with me. So we're not going to use any um any serum. We're just going to go in and fluff with our hands, which I don't necessarily recommend. If you were in a humid climate or you really want to lock that moisture in your hair, then I definitely recommend you use a hair oil or serum. But for me, I'm just going to stay inside. I don't want to put too much product in my hair right now. I'm just going to gently fluff with my fingers. So I'm going to start by removing this clip in my forehead here. Yeah, it's looking super defined right now. Okay, and I'm going to use my fingers and I'm going to get right in at the root and shake. Oh, yeah. We're shaking. Shake what your mama gave you. Oh, and there we go. So that's already fluffing up quite nicely. And that way, because I just went in and shook, I didn't actually... Um, like you can create too much frizz on your ends if you touch them a little bit too much, especially without serum. So sometimes you can make the hair a little extra staticky or um, again, you might ruin that cast that's giving you hold on the ends too much if you play with them too much. But I just shook the root, you know, I might shake out the bang a little bit. And I'm going to take a look, spin around a little bit. And I'm going to take the dry volume texture spray. Let's see if anything is left in here. And if not, I'm adding it to my empties pile. I did an empties video actually on live stream about six months ago-ish. And uh, after the past two quarters, I've got some new ones. So, oh yeah, this is, this is just, there's not much left in here. So I like to lift, lift and spritz. There's nothing. It looks like there's something, but I think it's just, I don't know. <laughs> We're finishing it off. Love this for us. Love finishing new products. My empties pile is aggressive. Like I, I should probably just throw the things out as I finish them. But for me, I think empty videos are fun, right? Do you guys like seeing products that I have completely finished my empties and like rate them? I do have a lot of repeats. Like if I've emptied a product once, I probably, like I do like sharing what I have um, repurchased. This I've gone through quite a few. Love it. It looks so, are you saying I look sexy? Hold on. Am I sweaty? Are you saying I look sexy? Yeah, this hair. This is the bob. This is the bob. Now get into the shape, okay? Let me give you a little 360, which again, if you love it and you just want it, stay tuned for next week's video because I'm going to share with you how we achieve this look. But this is the bob in the back. And what I like to make sure is that the hair around my ears is sitting where I want it. So I might stick my fingers in like this and then drag downwards. I'm kind of squeezing and dragging the hair downwards 
just to fill in um, any gaps. I want the perimeter of my hair to be nice and full. So I'm kind of shaking down like so. And then fluffing up everywhere else. So I get that nice big shape. But big she is. And there's still a lot of definition. There's still a lot of hold because I haven't actually like roughhoused the curls too much. There's definitely more hold. Now that we now we can actually compare, right? We're done here. I will uh I will admit the hair is like 95% dry. There's still a little bit like 5% damp. So I don't want to do too much here, but I still feel there's a little bit of wetness where I had that clip in my bangs. This was a little damp, kind of roughed it a little bit. But you can see the difference between the curl foaming gel as well as the mousse gel. So as we take a look, see here, beautiful as always. Thank you so much. This is, uh, yeah, this is the verb side. It gives a softer look. Like I definitely feel like the curls look really juicy and soft and plump and like just hydrated. They give everything. It's always a good hair day for me. Some people have said that the verb curl foaming gel does not give enough hold. And I will say if you want more hold when using it, again, be careful of using too many creams and oils underneath it. Um, and, you know, you don't have to go crazy scrunching out the crunch because it doesn't leave your hair super crunchy, but it does give curl memory. So it's great if you need to refresh your hair. I love refreshing my hair with it. Like it comes right back to life either by adding more product or just adding some water to reactivate it. What's already in your hair. Um, I love doing that. So that is the verb curl foaming gel side. And then like this little piece here, hold on. It's bothering me. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a little bit more product just to seal those ends a little bit better. There we go. See, it's not hard. It's not hard. That's that side. And then again, this is the mousse gel side. So a little bit different. It has a little bit more of that like crunchy look. And I could continue scrunching, but honestly, it, it holds that pretty well. So something to keep in mind, depending on what you need out of your routine, you use this or that, or this and that. If you're going to use this and that, then use this underneath and this to scrunch on top. That, have I done a routine like that? I don't think so. Maybe I'll have to. Let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing. That's something I might do maybe over on IG. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. But, you know, it's fine. I know that we're on YouTube. You don't have to follow me everywhere else, although I am on Instagram or TikTok. I just want to say that, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but we are, oh my God, I'm going to cry. We are almost at 800,000 subscribers on this channel. Where, when, how has that happened? I, I'm so emotional. You know what this means? 800,000 subscribers on this channel means that we need to do something huge to celebrate. So I, I got to think of a fun video or at least a huge, maybe a huge giveaway to give back, to say thank you. Like I need to, I need to do something crazy. I'm going to do something crazy. My goal, of course, not that the numbers matter, but what I love to reach that 1 million subscribers to get that gold plaque. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would. And you know, we're getting there. Like we're continuing to grow on this channel after five and a half years, after so many different hairstyles. Um, and so many of you have shown me so much love on the Bob. Thank you so much. Like, I really feel like this is such a fun journey. I can't wait to show you how I achieved this haircut in the next video. I've got a lot more fun content to share with the Bob. And again, I want to share lots of different things on this channel. We're not done here. We're nowhere near done here. Um, but I want to thank you for getting, getting me here. 800,000 subscribers, almost, almost. Uh, that's, that is huge. Stay tuned for a giveaway announcement. We'll definitely do that once we reach that 800,000. If you want to help get me there, you know what to do. 
just share, just share one of my videos. You know, if I've helped you help people around you and share the video that has helped you most, uh, I don't know, in your group chats or maybe on your Instagram stories, if you tag me, I'd love to share. I'll definitely work on some reposts. But as for this or that routine video, I think we're done here. We have been on live for an hour and 15 minutes. Again, it was a little bit more lengthy with all of our talking. But, uh, you know, we did we did pretty good. We did pretty good with the time considering... Um, I don't know, considering I'm sick, considering um, I, this was kind of like impromptu, slightly last minute. Thank you for bearing with us. I'm excited to get back to our regular scheduled content next week. But that being said, if you want more live streams, do let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I will put again, all of the details where you can find the products that I use in the description box below. And I gotta go. Blow my nose. I love you. Thank you so much for joining me. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. Bye. And bye.